Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach. And I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities? What the fuck? I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but- Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? <sighs> You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! 
You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. <sighs> Relate to my asshole, old man. How the heck are you, man? Here we are at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Bruh, what's up? What the fuck are you doing in Davis? I thought you might have gone home with that little number. What do you mean she's a he? Yeah, I promise I'll be back home to visit, so... Hey, you! Hey, Two bikes. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. I'll catch you later. Hey, screw this. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. What the hell do you think you're doing? End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. I'm doing the work here, Fatso. I gotta video this and send it to your mom. Hey, you gonna call me a homo or something, tough guy? My body isn't meant to work like this. And I'm making it to beat you. Well, I'm done raising that little shit. Here's your phone. You're down, old man. Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Whoa! Uh, hey. uh.
you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, change. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, sweetheart. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. What? Our house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, 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 man! I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on, now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into the outlet! If you say so, Trey! They're shooting! They're effing shooting! We'll lose them if we keep going this way. We'll lose them down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. My dad's the one you want to kill. He's on the front of this thing. Just go, OK, go. Come on, let us go. If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea shark will be impounded! You're going to hit me, you psychos! Come on, let us go! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea sharks will be impounded! I can't believe I sort of had sex with you, you psychopath! Looks like this is the way out! Fuck, I'm going to die! You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. I can't believe you did that to me! Whoa, whoa, chill out, babe! Now, what did you say? Yeah, no, no, no worries. It was a pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased when you're being shot at. No, I meant you don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs! You didn't say that! You ruined it! Okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life.
Suspect in control of an LSPD tactical unit vehicle. Requesting air and ground units to intercept. I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals. We all know the score. We're going to execute the plan. We're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him, 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. 